Morning team, hope you're all good. Uh, so what we'll aim to do in these videos is just start off with um, just obviously a couple of minutes and just me chatting away because obviously um, normally I'd say hello to each and every one of you um, towards the start of each session. So we're going to start off like that. And so morning everyone, <laughs> hope you're all good. Um, so today we're going to be doing a pyramid session. You're going to need a pair of dumbbells. Okay, uh, you don't need any bands for today's session. So just make sure that you've, um, you've got your dumbbells and also just maybe just pop a little comment quickly before we start. I can see some of you coming online, so I can see Natasha's watching, I can see Jason's watching, I can see Adam's watching. Um, so yeah, maybe you can just pop up a little message and say that you can hear me um, so that we're, we're good to go. Obviously, um, you just need to make sure your internet connection's good um, because then it will enable you to watch this you know, in time with me as well. All right? Cool. I'm just going to grab myself a drink quickly, but in the meantime, if you could pop a little message out. Morning, morning, Faye. How you doing? Awesome. Welcome to the team. Uh, let me go. I'm going to grab a drink and I'll be right back, but hopefully when I come back, I'll see a few yeses and hey and watching. Good stuff, Emma. Yes, morning Matt, how you doing mate? Morning Lisa, Adam, Jason, like the hat, yeah. Actually I bought this one when I was in, um, when I was in Chile actually, on a little island called Chiloe Island and it was like, I don't know, it was like two pound and it was like from, made of pure sheep's wool, handmade, it was an absolute bargain, love it. Um, cool, yeah, excellent stuff, just keep logging yourselves in guys, we've got another minute until we start our warm up, so just make sure you've got your drinks ready. If you're training in a room that's generally quite warm, like I've turned the heating off here at the studio, um, so it's not going to be too bad, but I would suggest having a window open, okay, and making sure you've got a bit of airflow in this, in, in this because, um, not just because of the type of session we're going to do, but generally just for your, uh, for your well-being, just make sure there's a bit of airflow. Morning Sharon, morning Rich, how are we doing? Good stuff. I think never as social interaction has been more important guys, so, you know, the value in this is, is, you know, as much about that as it is about the, um, as it is about the session, really. So let's just make sure that we um, we all jump on board and support each other here. Um, cool. So I can see we've got 12 people. It'll be interesting to see if John's on time for this one, actually, because, bless him, John, always consistent, always four minutes late. We, he actually won an award at the um, at the Blast Fitness Camp Awards um, at Christmas last year for um, for consistent, consistently late. 6.24 every time. So it'll be interesting to see when he jumps on board this one. Cool. All right, team, nice and simple. I am actually going to train with you this morning because it's easier for me to do that. It's a little bit more interactive um, and it makes me do some exercise as well. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll talk you through the routines as we go. So to start with, we're going to go nice and easy. Okay, get yourselves ready. Low to high. Oh, let's get the watch going because it doesn't count if you don't do that. Okay, nice and easy. Low to high. Just make sure your knees and toes are facing the same way. Upper arms in line with the ears. Yep, squeeze those shoulder blades back together. Legs nice and straight, and I'm sure some of you will have an amazing view, but just imagine you're looking at that castle this morning, sunrise, in there. Okay, good stuff. So now I just want you to go to the rotational wood chop, so just pivot on the toe, knee and the hip, follow the hands all the way around. Nice and lightly toes. Just keep going on that one for a second. Okay, rotational wood chops. Off we go, keep going, yeah. Okay, diagonally low to high now, so you're gonna squat low, reach tall, make sure you pivot. So if I'm going from my left knee to my right shoulder, it's my left foot that is pivoting, yeah, as we go around the corner. Nice and light on your toe, okay? Yeah, all the way around. Okay, left knee to right shoulder, good stuff. Then we're gonna go right knee to left shoulder, okay? So squat low, reach tall over the opposite shoulder, Okay, glute punch your neck. So slightly tension glutes, punch all over. So remember the reason that we do this, if you're joining this group this morning, 
Um, the reason we do this is to make sure that the glutes, which are the laziest muscles in the body, because we sit on them all day, okay, and, 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 and I don't just say that flippantly, it's actually it's fact, okay, so just make sure you squeeze your glutes and slightly, slightly tense them, punch all over, just get them woken up, okay. Alright, posture, so squeeze those shoulder blades together, tuck the pelvis underneath, get those abs on, good, back to the glutes again. Good. Let's get those muscles woken up. You might see like posture again, so squeeze those shoulders again, like gymnasts and boxers and those swimmers. You'll see them kind of hitting themselves to wake themselves up. Same principle. Back to the glutes again. Good. And then posture, squeeze those shoulders together. Excellent. Okay, so our next exercise, we're going to do forward lunges. So really important on this one, keep your shoulders up, bend the back knee, yep, drop it towards the ground, yep, alternating in there. Okay, so when we go forward with one leg, the other leg at the back, just bend it. Just make sure your front knee and toe are facing the same way. Okay, and then as you get warmer, you might go a little bit lower, okay? Good. Just keep going on these for a second, just get yourself warm. Okay, side lunges next. So start with your feet together, step across, back to the middle, and then over to the other side. Okay, so trail legs, stay straight. Both feet are facing the same way, okay? Good, trail legs straight. Nice and steady through these. Just make sure when you go to do the next exercise, because I've obviously got some dumbbells behind me, that you've got plenty of room. Just come forward a little bit. So both feet start facing 12 o'clock. This front leg, the left one stays straight, the right one lands at five o'clock, okay? Round behind you, back to the middle, yeah, and then round to seven o'clock with the left foot. Okay, so round behind you. Yeah, front foot stays facing 12. Yeah, back foot goes round to either five o'clock, which is the right foot, or seven o'clock, with the left foot. This front leg must stay straight, okay? Really important. That's it, just ease your way into this, okay? No rush in the morning. One of the things you gotta remember is when you get out of bed, yeah, and you haven't even walked to your car this morning, okay? Could be pretty stiff, so just make sure you use this warm up to get warm, okay? Good, okay, just want you to pop into the press-up position for the next two. First exercise we're gonna do is a T-roll. Okay, so the T-rolls, you need to have your hands just outside shoulder width. Roll your feet, keep your eye on the top hand as you roll, back to the middle, and then over to the other side. Okay, eye on the top hand. Yeah, rotate. Good. Okay, keep going on those, alternating the sides. Remember the bottom hip stays away from the ground. Okay, so now we're still in the press-up position. What I want you to do now is just reach through under the opposite armpit, keeping your eye on your hand as you go. Good, so it's that rotation through the upper back that you want, so keep your eye as you on your hands, it goes underneath your opposite armpit, okay? Good, just a quick one, just push out the toes, 10 on each foot to get those ankles warmed up. So hips are high, just take the heels towards the ground. Yeah, just get 10 on each foot down, warm up those calves, those ankles go in there. Okay, good stuff, just grab yourselves a drink, shed a layer or two, and then we're gonna go into our warm up. As I said, you're gonna need your dumbbells, okay? So grab those. Alrighty, so today's format, we're gonna do a pyramid, okay? I'm not gonna tell you what the finisher is, okay? Because I want you to not run off the screen, okay? Uh, so we're gonna do a pyramid, and you're gonna need your dumbbells to start with. You're gonna need a little bit of space as well to do some bear crawls in a bit. I know you're looking forward to them already. 
Um, so just make sure you've got your dumbbells ready to go. <clears throat> so you can either use one or two dumbbells, okay? So we're going to work for 30 seconds on the very first exercise we're doing the warm-up, yeah? So it's that movement there, we're going to squeeze those glutes and finish with the hips forward, arms and arms the ears. Okay, we're going to work for 30 seconds and then you're going to rest for 30 seconds, okay? And I'll explain, for those of you who haven't done the pyramid format, as we go along I'll explain how it's going to work, okay? All right, off we go. Yep, so let's get those hips moving forwards. Squeeze those glutes. It's really important you use your hips and not your arms, okay? Hips through, squeeze those glutes. Good, that's it, straight arms. Bend those knees a little bit on the way down, but it's really important you keep your head up. Do not look at the floor, okay? Nice straight back. It's all coming from the hips. And relax there. Good, okay, so we're gonna rest for 30 seconds and then we're gonna do that exercise followed immediately by this exercise, which is called bear crawls, okay? So you'll be crawling forwards, keeping your knees down, yep, crawling backwards, okay? Keep your hips and your knees down close to the ground and make those hips work, okay? That's the exercise we're gonna do. All right, off we go. Let's go, wood chops, dumbbell wood chops. First exercise, remember we're using those hips. I'll go side on for this one so you can see. Squeeze those glutes, fire those hips forward. Keep the abs tight and the head up. Good, that's it. Finish with those arms and arms the ears. Okay, straight into your bear crawls now. No rest, let's go. Yep, crawl in. If you've got an exercise mat laid out, use the length of that. Yeah, if you haven't, go with six to eight foot of space. Good, that's it, let's go. And relax there. Good stuff. Okay. So, our next exercise that we're going to add in. So, you're resting right now. Okay. Dumbbell wood chops, bear crawls. Third exercise. Alternating dumbbell snatches. So, the dumbbell starts directly below the middle of your body with your feet just outside hip width from the stance. You're going to take that dumbbell above the head, back down, other arm above the head. Keep the dumbbell as close to the body as you can. Okay, on each rep, so it doesn't go way out in front of your body, this time it's coming right alongside your body there, okay? And we go up above the head, okay? Off we go. Okay, so we're into our wood chops. Fast hips, remember, this exercise works the glutes, the lower back, and the hamstrings, okay? Provided that you squeeze those glutes together at the top. Yep, yeah, keep those glutes working. Nice straight legs at the top. Okay, bear crawls, off we go. There we go. Good, remember, hips down, get those hips moving. Yep, crawling backwards. Okay, alternating dumbbell snatches. You only need one dumbbell, yeah? From between the legs, yeah? Change sides, put the dumbbell on the floor in between each rep. Grab it and go, okay? Get that dumbbell from the floor to above your head as quick as you can, okay? Remember, head up. I don't want you looking down at the ground, keep that back nice and straight. And relax there. Good. Okay, nice and simple on the next one. So we're resting now. We'll do wood chops, bear crawls, alternating dumbbell snatches, okay? Press ups. Simple exercise, but effective. Knees on the floor, absolutely fine. Normal press ups, abs tight. Breathe out the way up. Yep, keep that core tight. If you need to go to your knees, that's fine. Just keep your bum down, okay? All 
All right, grab your dumbbells. I'm going to have you with me. Right, ready, off we go. With chops. So if you're getting warm now and you want to go a bit heavier with your dumbbells, that's absolutely fine, okay? It's good to have some options. Remember, you can do this with one dumbbell or two, okay? Your choice. Use those hips. Okay, bear crawls, off we go. Yeah, on the floor, crawling forwards, crawling back. Remember the knees stay relatively close to the floor. Let's go. Okay, dumbbell all states and statues. So between the legs, above the head. Dumbbell on the floor, change arms. Head up. When we lift that weight, you want a nice straight lower back, okay? Yep, so keep that chest up. Draw that dumbbell close to your head. Good, let's go. Let's go, team. Come on. Good stuff. Okay, press up. Won't be long, we'll be back in front of those sunrises. Let's go. Be the best you can. Good stuff. You've got 30 seconds to do your press ups. Let's go. Let's get into it. Yeah, if you get tired, have a rest, go again, no problem. Right, so. Woo! Good stuff. Warmed up now. Just gonna crack my fan on. Okie dokie, so those four exercises will be coming right up again. We're then going to do some offset lunges. So you're going to hold your dumbbell in your right hand and you'll be lunging forwards and back with your left leg, okay? I'll talk you through that when we get there. You've got five seconds till we go. Dumbbell wood chops, head up, first exercise. Okay, off we go. Boom, hip through, hips through. Squeeze those glutes, arms nice and straight. Let's go around on the other side. Yeah, side on, hips through. Yeah, one or two dumbbells, your choice. You choose the weight that is effective for you. Okay, good stuff. Back rules, let's go. Team, keep those hips down. Okay, good stuff. Grab your dumbbell, alternating dumbbell snatches. So it starts between your legs, boom, above the head, change sides, dumbbell on the floor, grab it with the other hand. Good. Stay healthy team, let's go. Mental and physical well-being, huge. Let's go. Keep your head up. Good job, press ups. Get after it, count your reps. Don't worry about anybody else, you don't need to worry about anybody else, only yourself. Yeah, abs tight, don't let that back dip. Keep that core really tight. If you find your back dip in, pop your knees on the floor and go again. Let's pump them out, guys. Come on. Let's go. Whew. Okay, grab the dumbbell in the right hand. Rest it on your right shoulder. Step forward and lunge forward with your left leg. Back to the middle. Same side. Left side only forward at the minute. Dumbbell in the right hand, dumbbell resting on the right shoulder. Keep that core tight. Good 
And relax there. Drink time if you want it. Okay, we got one more exercise to add into this pyramid. Hollow hold. You'll be on your back. This and ab exercise. Okay, lower back on the floor. Feet away from you as much as you can. Arms back as far as you can. Yeah, if you're feeling strong, shoulders off the floor, legs off the floor as well. Okay, otherwise, keep your lower back on the ground. Okay, let's go team, dumbbell wood chop. Last time you're going to do these today, so enjoy it. Hip sprue. Good. Let's go, remember, knees and toes facing the same way. Head stays up the whole time. Yep, yeah, arms stay straight. This is not an arm exercise. Use those hips. Good job, well done. Back rolls. Let's go. Let's go, team. Come on. Back rolls. Keep those knees down. Keep his hips and shoulders working. Good job. Alternating dumbbell snatches. Yeah, from between the legs. Above the head. Dumbbell changes arms at the bottom. Pop the dumbbell on the floor. Keep your head up. Boom. Palm facing the front at the top. Good job, well done. Okay, we're into press ups, let's go. Go after it, team. Be your best you can. Dumbbell lunges, dumbbell rests on the left shoulder this time. Lunge forward with your right leg. Yep, so dumbbell on the left shoulder, lunge forwards, back to the middle with the right leg. Keep your abs tight, try not to lean forwards, okay? Keep that core tight. Okay, hollow hold on your back, okay? Line on your back. Yep, knees to 90 degrees to start with. Extend your legs as far as you can. Yep, bring those shoulders off the floor. Make sure it stays in the abs. You can feel your back. Just bend your knees a little bit. Take the pressure off. Get shoulders off the ground. Hands kind of point to 11 and 1. Feel those abs shaking. We're nearly there. And relax there. Woo! Good job. So, halfway through. Okay, we're on the way down now. So there is no more wood chops. So we're going to start with bear crawls. And then we're going to work our way down, finishing with the hollow holds. We've got five exercises to do, okay? This is the last time you're going to do bear crawls, okay? Okay. Let's go, back one time. Okay, that's those done. Alternating dumbbell snatches. So dumbbell between the feet. Push those hips through. Yep. Change arms each time. Keep that head up when we pick the dumbbell off the floor. Okay. 
Okay, good job. Press ups. Where we go? Count your reps. Go. We're almost there, last few seconds. Ah. Okay, dumbbell lunges, dumbbell rest on the right shoulder, lunge forward the left leg, back to the middle, change sides. Uh, not change sides, stay on the left side. Only the left leg, lunging forwards, okay? Stuff. Yep, hollow hold on your back for the abs. So lie on your back. Oh. And then just hold that position at the top. Shoulders off the ground, feet off the ground. Legs as straight as you can, but make sure it stays in the abs, not the back. Yeah, feel those abs shaking. If you need to support your head with your hands, you can. Yep, for your neck. And relax there. Woo! Okay, yeah, that last exercise, just make sure you feel it in your, uh, your abs, not your back, okay? Okay, dumbbell alternating snatches. Start with those, okay? Get ready, you've got five seconds. Okay, let's go team. Boom, yep, alternate. Change arms, that's good. Let's go, alternate the arms. Keep your head up when you pick that dumbbell off the floor. Nearly there, last few seconds. Okay, press ups. Where do we go? Make sure those abs are tight, do not let your lower back dip. Shoulder blades come together. Press up on the way up. Press up, breathe out on the way up, brother. Job. Dumbbell lunges, dumbbell rest on the left shoulder, lunging forward with your right leg. Yep. Push back to the start, bend the back knee, back to the start. Almost there. Okay, hollow hold on your back for the abs. Okay, so you're on your back. Knees at 90 degrees, take them out as far as you feel you can. Shoulders off the ground. Keep that lower back pushed into the floor. Okay, really important. Yeah, if you feel it in your back, just bend your knees a little bit. Makes it a bit easier. Yeah, for the abs. Good, and relax there, well done. Okay, so we're starting our next round with press ups, okay? I'm gonna sweat on this one, gotta be a good thing. Cool, we've got 12 seconds, okay? That's all we go, press ups, offset lunges, yeah? So dumbbell will be on the left shoulder. Okay, we're ready, off we go. No, we're not going, we're not going, false alarm. Now we go, let's go. Boom, press ups. Last set of press ups today. I can hear you all cheering. Let's go, come on team. 
Okay. Offset lunges. Dumbbell on the right shoulder, lunging forward your left leg, okay? Keep your shoulders up, keep those abs on. Ready there? Well done. Good. Okay, so you're on your back. Hollow hold for the abs. Remember, knees at 90 to start with. Extend the legs, bring the shoulders off the ground. Keep those, that lower back push right into the ground, okay? If you feel your neck, just pop your hands behind your head. Let's go. Good. And relax there. Good, have a little breather, quick drink. Two exercises, the offset lunges, okay? The dumbbell will be on the left shoulder, lunging forward with the right leg, then the hollow hold, okay? Whew. Okay, get ready. Dumbbell on the left shoulder, lunge forward with the right leg, off we go, keep that chest up. Keep an eye on that knee, on the leg that you're lunging forward with, okay? Don't want it falling in. Knees and toes in line, okay? Good stuff, well done. Okay, hollow hold on your back. Abs time. Good. Let's keep the core tight. Let's make sure the lower back is as flat as you can. If you feel your neck, just support your head with your hands, no problem. Shoulders off the ground. Keep those abs tight. We're nearly there. And rest. Woo! On that one there, we'll just stay here right now, rest. Here we're going again. Wow, good job. Okay, so one more round of those. Remember, knees bent makes it easier. Legs further away, harder. Must keep your lower back close to the floor, okay? Okay, let's go team. That lower back flat, if you feel it coming off the ground there like I did, bend the knees a little bit, bring it back in, shoulders off the ground, and relax there. Woo. Good job, that's the end of the pyramid. We're not done yet though, okay? Little finishes to do before we finish completely. We're going to do some stretches obviously as well. Just grab yourselves a drink, have a bit of a rest. Lisa, where's Joe? Yeah, at home doing it. I hope. Good, so, when we get going in the second team, we're gonna do some lunges, some squats, some jumping lunges, and some jump squats, okay? Now we're gonna go through this, this little sequence that we're gonna do, 30 seconds on each of those, twice through. This is gonna be tough on the legs, okay? It's four minutes of work, and then we're done, all right? So that's why I'm giving you plenty of rest now. Just let the heart rates come down, give your legs a bit of a shake, ready to go. No weights needed, trust me, okay? Lunges, squats, swap over lunges and jump squats and I'll obviously be doing it with you as well, okay? So we're gonna start in 20 seconds time, okay? The first exercise you're gonna do is, the, is one of the exercises you're doing in the warm up, forward lunge, yeah? We've done a few of them today, yeah? Alternating though, okay? The second exercise will be squats. Hips back, shoulders up, okay? Then it'll be jumping lunges, which is that one. Okay, then it'll be squat jumps, which is that one. 
This is really tough, okay? If you need to rest during it, that's absolutely fine. Off we go. Lunges. Yeah, remember your technique. You've got to keep those shoulders up, keep those abs on, and if you get tired, just have a little rest and go again, okay? As soon as you can. Alternate those legs. Feels great right now, no problem. Okay, into your squats. Hips back, chest up, so side on. Remember, bum goes backwards first, yeah? We don't want any knees forward, okay? Bum back, chest up. Good, remember, shoulders up, let's go. Be your best, no excuses, okay? Yep, swap over lunges. So we're jumping from one foot to the other, okay? Bend the back knee. Get as much as you feel you can. But remember, it's really important that that front foot doesn't turn out, okay? Keep it in line with your knee. Landing almost on the balls of your feet. Bending the back knee as much as you feel you can. Should be starting to burn right now. We're nearly there. Okay, jump squats. In we go, this is the bit where it hurts. Shoulders up, nice soft landing. Yeah, and remember, do not lean forward from the hips. Keep your head up and land soft on the knees. Yeah. Keep it going as long as you can without resting. Keep the quality, jump high. Three seconds, team. Okay, forward lunges. Oh, round two. Last two minutes of work. Have you ever done a triathlon? No. Yeah. I guess if you've ever done, I don't want to put you off. This is how your legs feel when you get off the bike. Like bad feel nice. Oh, let's go team. Come on. We're almost out on those lunges. Okay, squats, chest up, let's go team, normal squats, no jumping. Make sure your knees and toes are in line, have a quick check. Make sure your bum's going back for spurs. More weight in the heels than there is in the toes, okay? Keep the weight towards the outside of the feet and the heels. Big toes still on the ground, yeah, but don't let your knees come in. Oh. Come on team. Let's go. Okay, swap overs. Yeah, bend that back knee as much as you like. Really there. Okay, jump squats. Let's go team, come on. Last 30 seconds. If you need a rest, that's fine. Oh yeah, good burn. Use those arms. Let's get as much height as you can. Land soft. Give the legs a shake. And relax there, well done. Virtual high fives all round. We're not done yet, make sure you stay to the end of this video. We're gonna stretch, really important you stretch with me, okay? Do not leave the video. Walk around. Little test now, okay? I'm gonna say something in the next two to three minutes during the stretches, and you've gotta post it below in the comments Prove the easy stretch, okay? Woo! That was good. Excellent team. Right, we're going to start stretching. So, pop your left foot forwards, right foot back, pop your right hand in the air, your right heel is off the floor, okay? Just push your fingertips towards the sky as much as you can. 
Feel that stretch. And then change sides, okay? Good stuff. Just push the fingertips towards the sky. So left hand in the air, left foot at the back. Good. Okay, big steps to the side. Hands on the bent knee. So your trail leg is straight. This one here. Hands on the bent knee there. Right, team. So I want to ask a massive favour from you, okay, if you don't mind. I'd love you all, every single one of you, check in at Blast Fitness Camp this morning. Little comment saying how you worked out at home how you found the workout, etc, etc. Two things really, obviously it's massively helpful for me, change sides. But secondly, I think one of the things we'll find is that the value in these groups, okay, is going to be in the group, okay, not just the exercise. So the exercise is obviously awesome because it gets, the, gets everything physiologically going, mentally the endorphins are going, it's just going to be a really invaluable tool to everybody. But equally, Fit, uh, mentally, you know, just being part of this group. So hamstring stretches, hands on the bent knee, front leg straight. Mentally being part of a group like this, okay, wherever people are in the world. I've just had people this morning from New Zealand join our other online group. Um, I think it's going to be invaluable, okay? So I would really appreciate it if you guys could just tag me or, and, and or Blast Fitness Camps in a post just to say you've worked out, maybe a little picture of your, your room that you worked out in, a couple of comments around the workout, that would be honestly, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Okay, front of the foot stretch is next, so little toes on the ground. Okay, let the heel fall out to the side, change sides. Whew. Good job, okay, calf stretch is next. So if you've got a wall that you want to lean against, that's absolutely fine, heel on the ground. I prefer personally going in the press up position. Okay, so if you want to do that, then you can. Just rest one foot on top of the other and just have the heel on the ground at the back, okay? And then change sides. Good, okay. Just lie on your front now, we're going to do our quad stretches, okay? So lie face down. Yeah, grab one foot, pull it towards your backside, push your hips towards the floor, okay? Just gently squeeze your glutes together and you'll feel that stretch, okay? Change sides. So I throw everybody back. And then also for those of you who, um, who you know, definitely like came to me for the face-to-face -face coaching, like it's really important that you put a tick below each video that you do. Okay, I'm gonna be checking, like not like Hitler style, but I'm gonna be checking to make sure that you're doing that, okay? Because that's part of my job, accountability, okay? It's not just about standing here coaching you on the exercises, accountability. So I'll be checking in guys just to make sure you're on track, okay? I'm with you all the way. Okay, change sides. Good, okay, let's go uh, onto your knees, just sit back on your heels, walk both hands to 10 o'clock, okay? Or two, yeah. Tuck your chin down towards your chest. And change sides. Good. Okay, pop yourself up. Just open up the chest. Cross the middle. Okay, just open up that chest. Let's go team. Cool, so just a quick reminder, remember to check in, yeah, at Blast Fitness Camps this morning on Facebook, yeah, tag me in it, 
pop a little post up, tell everybody you did your session from home, okay, we're being responsible, it's really important, I think that we do that, we spread the message that, you know, we're doing things responsibly, okay, that's the type of people we are, okay, shoulder rolls backwards, shoulder rolls forwards, yeah, and then just rest your head to one side, stretch off your neck, okay, and change sides. Good job team, awesome session, hope you enjoyed it, love taking you through that. If anybody's got any questions relating to the training, just let me know, obviously just pop them below. Um, but really, it's just a question of getting that one done and following the steps that I put in the thing, okay? I will know. Have a great day team and uh, you know, stay positive. I'll be dropping bits and pieces, Harry and I'll be dropping content in here like throughout because obviously this coaching program is exercise, nutrition, accountability and coaching, okay? It is not just exercise, okay? value in the group. See you soon guys. Have a great day.